What's up everyone? Welcome back to Power Pals. I'm Mike. This is Cole. And we're finally back at you. Yeah, basically what happened is we ran into a little bit of storage problem. Yeah, we kind of didn't have any storage to uh, upload the videos and edit all the videos. We <laughs> actually uh, taped the segment to upload and that's when we found out we were out of memory. But we think we have the problem, or storage, we think we have the problem solved now, right? Mm -hmm. I think we do. And if this airs, then we you know the problem has been fixed. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's been way too long. It's been like, um, geez, over a month, a month and a week or so since we last came at you. So we'll do a quick recap of what's been going on. The last time we uploaded uh, a segment, the Pirates were 28 and 30. We were in fourth place and five games out of first. Today, after the All-Star break and in, uh, starting tomorrow, the second unofficial second half of the season, the Pirates are sitting at 44 and 45. We're in fourth place, but get this, only two and a half games out and being in fourth place. And the Reds are right behind us, so our division is pretty tight. Like, very tight. Um, well, since then? <laughs> since then, uh, I mean, we it was at our low point, right? We, well, we, we from when we last came at you, we won two out of three from the Braves, and then we hit our low point of the season where we... Hit a seven-game losing streak. Um, I think it was three against the Braves and four against uh, the Brewers. And uh, we were 30 and 37. We we're in fifth place, uh, bottom of the division, seven and a half games out. But then, but then our Pirates kept battling yes. as they have all year. Uh, so let me just recap this: two out of three on the Marlins. We split the Tigers. We show we show we show swept them. Yes, but we did have. sweep the Padres. We got two out of three in the Astros. Funny thing, we were the only team to come in their home that's field right. yep. and win a series. So that's, that's right. That's so far this close. year. And then we uh, won out of three of the Brewers. Meh. But, and, but three out of four against the Cubs. And, then, and one of those games on July 1st, we actually scored 18 runs mm -hmm. and uh, then we took two out of three from the Brewers and that ended uh, the unofficial first half of the season um, our offense has been on a roll lately and um, you know we've won since the low point of the season we won five or six series and we split one mm -hmm. and I don't know to mention we also won two out of three against the Brewers and that was it so we get the all-star break and our Josh Bell was uh, all star along with Felipe Vasquez, mm -hmm. and Josh also made the uh, home run derby. And thought he did pretty well, but uh, Acuna did a little bit better, mm -hmm. and you know he was knocked out in the first round. But that's okay. I think that's going to be the first of many all star appearances for Josh Bell. So let's talk about the the first half. Even though we're past you know halfway through the season, um, where do the Pirates sit right now? I think they're you know all things. Considering the injuries, um, they're doing pretty well. They, they're, they're fighting, they're scrapping, they're hanging in there. I could give them an overall grade of a B midway through the season. Um, pitching, I'd probably give that a C, but it's mostly due to injuries. And uh, the hitting's come along. I give uh, the, uh, a grade of a B, I would say. B minus for hitting. But it seems to be trending in the right direction. And as far as coaching, um, you know what? All things considered, you know, Clint Hurdle's done a pretty good job of keeping the team afloat. So I'm going to give him a B, although there's been a couple games where I'm still shaking my head and swearing at the TV. So um, not as bad as last year, though. How about you, Cole? What do you think? I honestly think pitching, I, I do agree. It's a C plus. I mean, it's like right at the edge of a C and B. Hitting, I will say it's a B. It's 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 doing really good. It's just not at that top performance yet. And coach, honestly, I I say we, I say it's an A. Okay. Only only because one two three, I, one two three mishaps is not too bad. And some of that is your opinion that you think Lynn Hurdle is doing wrong. Yeah, that's and it, others, it and other You're people right. You're don't exactly think. You're exactly right. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's see how it goes the rest of the season. And uh, you know, he, and, and saying that, you know, uh, a couple instances I could think of. Um, who was he? Who was it? He brought in in the eighth inning, and, and oh, uh, who Feliz. was it? Feliz. No, it wasn't Feliz. No, because I was wondering why they didn't bring in Crick. 
Uh, it was the game we went to. Shoot, I can't remember who the heck it was. Oh, it was Nebraska. They bring in that Nebraska, so it's a two to one game, right? Mm -hmm. We're down two to one. We just scored a run to make it close. Eighth inning. I mean, this is the kind of situation where you went to one of your best pitchers in there. Instead of bringing in Crook, he brings in Nebraska. And then, you know, he gives up five runs, um, four runs to make it a 6 1 game. But that particular game, we fought back. We scored five runs in the ninth to tie it up. And unfortunately, we lost in the 11th or 10th or something. Okay. Like that. But, anyways, that was just one of those instances. Okay, so uh, overall, what kind of grade are you going to give the Pirates? Uh, overall, for the first half. I give them a B, so All right. C, a B, A, so okay. the average is a B. So we got a uh, road trip coming up. The Pirates start back um, after the All Star break starting tomorrow. Three games against the Cubs, which would be big. The Cubs are tied for first place with the Brewers. Then we go to St. Louis, got three games against the Cardinals, mm -hmm. and then we come home. And uh, that's going to be against the Phillies. I mean, the Phillies are doing pretty well, but I think they're you know they're a team that we can beat. Uh -huh. And uh, if we go to one of those games, we're probably going to see a lot of uh, Phillies fans because yeah, they travel they really well. And so do the Cardinals. Speaking of which, who we also play coming back on um, after this road trip for four games mm -hmm. against the Cardinals. So these next thirteen games will be big. Um, you know. Cardinals are right ahead of us in the standings. The Cubs are in first place, but we're only two and a half back. So, um, you know, be nice if we can win eight uh, these 13 games. Go eight and five somehow, and I think we'll be right in the thick of things. And you I never just, know. I just think we just gotta get seven out of six just to get us back to 500. We don't need to. We don't that's need to go. True. Yeah. We don't need to go progress. That's that's it's, kind of how. Seven and six will get us back to 500, and I'm sure we'll stay be maintaining in the thick of things. But I want to. Like to see him push the Pirates a little, mm -hmm. little bit more and do a little better because they always seem to come out of the All Star break not doing well. So I, you know, it'd be nice to see them come out and win a couple series. Okay, um, so we kind of lost track of the trivia answers. I think the last time we came at you, <coughs> we asked a question because way back in June, early June, and uh, when Josh Bell had an incredible month of May, he did something that only two other. Um, Major League Baseball players had ever done was hit 12 home runs and 12 doubles in a month of May. And we asked who were the other two uh, Major League Baseball players to have done that, and the answer was Frank Robinson and Hank Aaron. Ooh. So two Hall of Famers. That's some good company to be in. All right, so now uh, this segment's trivia question. I'm going to get talking about, you know, being a few games out of first place and, you know, never giving up. The, the Pittsburgh Pirates in 1978 were about 11 and a half games out of first place in mid-August. And they fought back and fought back and it came down to the team that was in front of them. They were three and a half games out the last series of the year. Uh, they were playing four games against this team mm -hmm. and they won the opening uh, uh, two games in a doubleheader. Cut that lead to one and a half. Then the next game, Willie Sturger hits a grand slam in the first inning. But unfortunately, they lost, and that was the end of their season. The question I have for you, 1978, who was the team the Pirates faced in that last series that uh, they were trying to take the first place and win the division? What was the name of the team? All right. Comment down below, Steve McDonald. Anyway, <laughs> make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Do it for us. Do it for Pirate Pals. Make sure you just watch us and we, we get views. And uh, you, you know, know what, what time it is. Let's go, Bucks.